It's the regular Sawyer squeeze. Hey everybody, my name's John and welcome to my channel. I've had an equipment failure, I had to adapt. So stay with me and we'll get started. These are good to make a coal bed with when you use that accessory, the grill accessory for the nano stove. I just want to cut up some of these little chunks to put in there. It makes a coal bed and they work out real well. I want you to see how I load this up. This is how I'm going to start the nano. And then once I get the coal bed in the bottom, I'll just put this grill top on there. Yeah, I'm just using one of these mini infernos to light this thing. It's real easy to start with one of these mini infernos. I found that this is the best way. This is my favorite method. You don't want to choke off too much of the oxygen. I found that out when I first started lighting this thing and I kind of got it figured out now. You just need to uh, let it breathe some. Don't overload it with your tender and just put some little stuff on there to get it started. What I try to do when it's damp like this is I pick up stuff that's standing. I don't get stuff right on the ground, but these little sticks, if they make a snapping noise. They're dry enough to put in this stove. I have two types of sausage I want to grill up. I have these link sausage. And then I have some regular sausage. I'm going to fry these up in a pan, but I'm going to put these on this grill plate. For me, this is what makes camping fun right here. I love this stove. It's just such a compact piece of gear. If you're just a solo backpacker, I'm going to put these sausages on. I'm having me some hot tea. Here's the kind of tea I'm having. It's a lemon zinger. I have an equipment failure. My water filter just stopped up for some reason. It was working great the last time I used it. It's the regular Sawyer squeeze. So I spent a lot of my time last night boiling water. This two quart bush pot works great for that. I had to adjust my plan, folks. I had originally planned to bake these biscuits and these muffins, but since my water filter failed, I'm having to use my bush pot to boil my water with. So I don't have time to use it to do the baking. I got my grilling done. But that's the thing about bushcrafting and camping. You gotta be ready for other things that could happen. Now, I always recommend that you take some type of metal container. I've got two. I've got this canteen. Then of course, I've got my bush pot. And this is a two quart bush pot. And I use it all the time to disinfect water with. And then I also use this canteen sometimes and I can disinfect water with that. And that's what I did last night. I'll boil this full canteen up and my bush pot. And then of course you saw me pour it off into my two liter water bottle, but I'm got to use this bush pot now to disinfect some more water. And I just won't be able to use it to do my baking with. Yeah, I got to get my little stove going here so I can disinfect some water. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there. We should be rolling. I'm just gonna let that warm up a little bit. 
I'm gonna have some of these potatoes with that water I just boiled. Here it is, folks. I swapped out my mosquito net for my winter top. Check out those baffles on my underquilt. That's the Warbonnet Wookie. Zero degree down. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to me, hit that bell so you'll get notified on my next video, and check out these videos. Thank you for watching.